many people approaching retirement age are interested in 55 plus communities. Probably because they don't want to hang out in a community that has boisterous children running around wreaking havoc. Others pick a 55 plus community because they're interested in the ample amenities, group activities, hanging around with like-minded people, people your own age. Whether it's one or both of those reasons, most people have some questions. And in today's video, I am going to go over the most frequently asked questions about 55 plus communities or active adult communities. If that topic interests you, stick around. I'm going to give you some great information. Welcome to 772 Living with Lisa. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Lisa Ammons. I'm a real estate broker here in South Florida and many of my clients when seeking out a vacation home or a place to retire, we'll bring up the topic of a 55 plus community. And since you clicked on this video, I'm assuming that might be you. I cover many topics on this channel, like what it's like to live here in South Florida, also 55 plus communities. So you should consider subscribing to this channel if those topics interest you. Okay, so let's get started. And one more thing, if you watch this video to the very end, I will put some great 55 plus communities at the end of this video that you should enjoy and I would certainly watch. Okay, question number one. Can I purchase in a 55 plus community if I'm not 55? Yes and no. That sounds like an answer you'd get from the government, doesn't it? And you would be right. In order for any community to be considered a 55 plus or active adult community, at least 80% of the residents need to be 55 or older. That leaves a window of 20% that could be under the age of 55. But this is not a mandatory rule. It's a guideline, but not a rule. So a community does not have to keep 20% of their residents under the age of 55. But let me be clear, that doesn't mean you can have a bunch of little kids living with you. So you could have a child live with you as long as they're 18 years of age. Always check the rules at any given community because they will have many and you need to read the fine print. All the communities are gonna check. They're gonna wanna see your driver's license, passport, you're gonna have to prove that you're 55 years of age in order to purchase in the community. So HUD does allow 20% of the community to be under the age of 55. But while it's permitted, it is not required. And none of the communities are going to risk their 55 plus status. So they tried to keep the ratio as close to 100% as possible. Question number two, can my grandchildren come to visit? Yes. All communities have their own set of rules and you should read those carefully. Your grandkids can come, but often there will be a time limit. It might be one week, it might be one month. So read those rules carefully. Question number three, this one comes up a lot. Can my adult children come and use the property when I'm not there? Back to the rules. You need to read those carefully because they vary a great deal. Most communities will allow your adult immediate family members to use 
the condo or home, whatever type of unit you purchased while you are not there. They will also have a time limit. I haven't seen one set that said you could have someone come indefinitely because that's considered living there. There's a difference between living there and visiting. I always limit my guests to one roll of toilet paper. Once it's gone, you're out of here. It's really nice here in Florida. They may want to stay indefinitely. Always read the rules because some of them will require you to be present. Question number four. Can I rent the property out? That depends on your community rules. But yes, in many cases, you can rent the property out. However, you will find that many of these communities will have a waiting period before you can do that. It may say you need to own the property for one complete year before you can rent the property out. So if you are considering this as an investment property in a 55 plus community, you need to take that into consideration. Airbnbs are typically not something you're going to do in a 55 plus community. And that is because you can't rent out these properties for one day or one week. Most of these communities, if they allow you to rent the property, are going to have more like a 30 to 90 day period as your minimum rental. They may only allow you to rent the property one time per year. So, meaning you can do a one time 12 month lease or you can do a one time 90 day lease. But most of them are not gonna allow you to uh, rent daily in a 55 plus community or not even weekly. But every community is different, so you need to peruse those rules during your due diligence period. And question number five, what are the benefits to owning in a 55 plus community? That really depends on the individual. What appeals to one person may not appeal to another. But in general, the benefits to a 55 plus community are as follows. Maintenance free lifestyle, that's always a big one. Nobody likes to mow the lawn. Outstanding recreational facilities like a pool, gym, tennis courts, sometimes they have golf courts, pickleball courts, bocce ball courts, shuffleboard, I know you're really digging that. Uh, walking trails, some even have dog parks. The list of amenities and things for you to do in a 55 plus community, for the most part, very long, and you will live a active adult lifestyle. I mean, that is the key phrase. There'll be plenty of things for you to do. A lot of people like the fact that they're hanging out with people their age. And in addition to the amenities, there's lots of group activities. When you have like book clubs, bridge games, poker games, there's billiards, there's yoga classes, I've even seen some have like, you know, photography classes, pottery. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can do within a 55 plus community. Another thing that's really great about 55 plus communities is the fact that they offer some security. As we get older, that's going to be on the top of your mind. You'll be around other people, people to keep an eye out for you. Normally, these communities are at least gated. Many of them will have a manned security person. So that's great as you continue to age. You may be traveling. Maybe you're an absentee owner and only using the house six months out of the year with a manned gated guard. You don't have to worry about your property or any of its contents. I find if you have family out of state, that's a benefit to them too. They don't have to worry about you so much as you age. If you're interested in 55 plus communities here in South Florida, I've got numerous videos that cover that topic. 
you can get the inside scoop, see how great the communities are, not only all of their amenities, but what the houses look like. And if you're interested in that, I am going to put those videos somewhere over here in this general vicinity. Cause I told you, if you're watching to the end, I deliver. And of course, if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. It certainly does help my channel. If you haven't already done so, consider subscribing. I try to post content every week and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube channel. I'm Lisa Ammons with 772 Living here in beautiful South Florida. Thank you for watching. Oh, and one more thing. If you've got a question, type it below. I will do my very best to answer those questions.